John Mickenin has been a builder his entire life, but he decided to turn his love for wood and building into a full-time job. Together with Marie Serafin, they became chainsaw carvers or chainsaw artists. They reached out to us and let Whitney Amon try out her skills for the day for this tough job in northern Michigan. When it comes to chainsaw carving, we want to think safety. We have a pair of glasses for you today and a pair of headphones. Protecting everything from top to bottom. If you ever tripped and fell or something on your saw running, that this shreds in the teeth of the saw and it will jam the saw and stop it before the saw can get through the chaps. Then it's about the chainsaw. And attempting to turn this into this. First step, strip the log. Just kind of push it up under there. There you go, like that. Then cut it into smaller sections. See, when I look at this piece, I can see that that's a nice because that's what we're gonna stand it up on. So we want a fairly flat bottom. Secure it to the ground and start our masterpiece. Yay! Now what we're gonna do is cut the stem out first. So we're gonna be cutting everything away from that stem with straight cuts down to about where your line is without cutting into that center part. Now you still got a lot of stem, you kind of cut in a little bit, so you can go in at an angle and let it be wider at the top and get narrow it down here. But try not to go any narrower than you've already done. So now what I'm gonna do is carve in and try to round in so that this will be the bottom of a pumpkin. Why don't you try this one? This one might be better, it's a little bit lighter. Just start cutting in on a 45 degree angle almost and take this little notch out of there and just go little pieces. Every time I think I'm making it better, I make it worse. You don't have to worry about perfect. I think that ship sailed a long time ago. <laughs> now it's time for the finishing touches. And once we get our carving work done, then we're going to want to move on to the sander. The sander is going to get rid of any blemishes we might have. Making sure to clean off all the sawdust. Add a little fire to the mix. Burn all of the fuzz. You can actually burn it quite heavily and so it starts to turn a little dark. One last buffing step. This just has these sanding flaps right here, see? Mm -hmm. And you're just going to... And make the final cut. But what you really want to do is, if you're a famous carver at some point, mm -hmm. you would almost have to have your initials in it. Beautiful. For tough jobs. You may not want to quit your day job just yet. I'm Whitney Amen.